Hey guys, I'm Dave and I'm from South Africa and I have a problem which I'm guessing you might be having as well. I'm the very proud owner of a Fitbit Versa 2 and at some point recently in the last few months my Fitbit stopped recording maps. I would go out for an exercise, I'd go out for a jog, I'd go out for a hike and I'd kind of figure out once I was finished uh, my Fitbit had not captured any, any map data. Uh, the, the step counts were there, the heart rate it was kept, the calorie count was kept, but no map. And that applied to hikes, it applied to jogs. And I'm going to put up a few pictures to show you what, uh, what my jogs and what my hikes ended up looking like. And you can agree that the, the settings are absolutely, uh, or, the, or the measurements are absolutely off. Now, I googled the shit out of this problem from why won't my Fitbit record to the GPS not maps not coming up to why is my Versa 2 not showing a map and essentially all the search results which center a lot around the Fitbit community um, they gave kind of a stock standard set of, of uh, answers or solutions none of which worked for me so working through the stock standard list of responses that are generally found online on how to get this map to start showing where it, 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 it had been and now it wasn't, uh, I got the suggestions like, well, reboot your phone. <laughs> I got options like, well, reboot your watch. Uh, the next one was uh, disconnect and, and reconnect your Bluetooth to the watch. An obvious one is to make sure that your watch firmware is up to date. Another one is to make sure that the app on your phone is actually up to date. And one of the final options is to make sure that when you do go into the exercise options inside your phone, that, you know, you tap on, for example, hike and you go uh, start. You see a little cog there uh, just to make sure that it shows assisted GPS is turned on because obviously with a Versa 2, uh, we don't have a GPS unit, so it needs to talk to the phone. Uh, and to make sure that assisted GPS is in fact turned on both uh, on the watch and that um, the GPS uh, permissions are allowed on the phone as well, which which were. And what what was typically happening was as I would start the workout, I would take uh, I would take my phone, I would connect, and then it would show good, it would show connected. You know, it would look good. I'd put the phone away, I'd go for my jog, I'd go for my hike, and then afterwards would I notice uh, the problem? You know, where uh, it showed the first few meters for example recorded and nothing else after that and eventually I figured out by like keeping the app open and uh, you know waking up the phone and keeping the app open every now and again it would reconnect and that seemed to work okay but you can't go for a jog with your phone and the app open and this plagued me for the last couple months and recently I figured out something uh, that I think has fixed it and I think it might fix it for you now Again, I don't know if this is going to work for you. Uh, the other options I've run through might, uh, might have fixed it. But what fixed it for me, and I'm going to put print screens on the photo of my, of my phone to actually show you what I've done, is to open up, uh, okay, to first have your, your sort of phone face in front of you, uh, to find the Fitbit app icon, to then tap and hold on that icon, so it brings up, it brings up a, a selection of settings. Uh, and, and once you're in those settings, to look for the permissions specifically for the location section. And now inside, inside that location-specific information, what I noticed was I noticed, that, I noticed that the settings were set to... Sorry, I'm looking this up as I'm speaking to you. I noticed the settings were set to allow only while using the app and all of a sudden this made complete sense because when I was exercising and I had the app open, the phone unlocked, the app open, things worked. But as soon as the phone locked, things stopped working. And so what I did was I switched across from allow only whilst using the app and I changed that permission to allow all the time. And in doing so, uh, my subsequent exercise sessions seemed to record fine. So it seems like it was actually a really simple setting and it does actually make sense um, if you think about it that my phone, which is a, a Nokia 7, I'm using an Android 10 uh, phone uh, for Nokia 7 now. I don't know if this fix, if there's an equivalent for an iPhone, uh, for an Apple product, but I just know for, for Android specifically, this seemed to save, my, uh, to save my bacon and hopefully there's an iPhone equivalent setting. You guys can let me know if that's the case. But by, switch, uh, by switching that permission away from 
uh, the default of allowing only whilst using the app to allowing all the time, it seemed to solve the problem. I'm going to keep tabs on it to make sure that it does work and I'll keep you guys updated if I find anything uh, has changed. But I can say this has seemed to fix the problem which I've been suffering through and I'm sure you've been suffering through as well. If it helps you, please let me know because this means a lot. I am an uh, avid Fitbit fan. I can't uh, sort of um, shout out about their great products and their great service enough. Uh, so guys, let me know if that helps you. It'll be really good to know if this has uh, saved you a bit of time and trouble as well. Thanks.